Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl, Nat, and this is Slay the Renee Way. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. You guys are going to be making some hair growth products with me today. So yeah, let's get right into the video. Starting off, I'm going to be making my hair growth Shebe oil. This is one of my first hair growth products that I ever made for my small business, Rose Butte Cosmetics. If you guys aren't familiar with my business, I have been closed for some time and I'm planning to reopen my store and I wanted to start with my hair growth products because it's summertime and I know a lot of the girls are planning on doing protective styling, length retention so that when wintertime comes around, our hair is flowing and shiny, silky and healthy. So I wanted to make my hair growth shave oil and what you guys see me doing here is just adding in my carrier oils basically like measuring each oil out using a scale and then going according to my formulation that I have that works amazing. We're going to go ahead and formulate this hair growth oil and then fill our jars. So while I'm making the hair growth oil, I'll go ahead and list a few of the benefits of this specific Shebe infused hair growth oil for you guys. So the first thing that Shebe hair growth oil does obviously is it's gonna hydrate and nourish your hair. So what Shebe powder does is actually makes your hair stronger. Um, I wouldn't say that. So Shebe the powder is known to deeply penetrate the hair shaft and moisturize your hair from within. And moisturized hair grows and retains the length because it will break less. So I started using this hair growth oil, um, I wanna say three or four summers ago. And I started using it on both my daughter and my hair. And what I noticed is that when we keep our hair in like braids or a twist or something for an extended period of time, once we actually take that style down, the hair that we actually grew has been retained. The length that we grew has been retained as opposed to styling your hair every day and it continuously being manipulated and breaking off. So anyway, these are just some of the benefits of the hair growth oil, but mainly if you keep a good hair care routine and try to keep your hair moisturized, hydrated, washed, and styled without so much manipulation, this hair growth oil is basically to aid in that growth. You can actually use this Shebe hair growth oil inside of a butter and turn it into a hair growth butter. Some of us don't really like to use a lot of oils in our hair over the summer, hence the heat and our hair like, you know, being overly greasy and oil running down your face and things like that. So for the summertime, I actually do prefer to use the butter when I'm doing like, um, like twist outs or bantu knots or any like long-term style that I'm gonna keep in my hair. I really, really, really love to use this butter because as we all know, shea butter is something that is deeply moisturizing. And when you add that shea oil to it, girl, let me tell you, it is like hair crack. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. It literally will hydrate your hair and lubricate the hair strands so much that breakage is almost not possible unless you're, like I said, overly manipulating your hair. But yeah, enough about that. Next, what I'm doing is sanitizing my cosmetic containers because they have been sitting for a few months now and I wanted to go back and wash them again, get them nice and clean. Um, sometimes if you leave your jar sitting like anything, it will collect dust. And I'm one to make sure that everything is completely sanitized when I'm making and selling my products. So yeah, I'm just using a sanitizing tablet. Um, anything you guys see me using in this video, I will link it down below in the description box. It'll also be on my Amazon storefront. so. Just check out the description box for anything that you're interested in that you see here. These are my four ounce glass Boston round bottles that I purchased from, where did I get these? I think I got these from Container and Packaging, one of my top container vendors. Um, I'll link that down below for you guys as well. But yeah, I'm pretty much just sanitizing these in the sanitizing tablet solution um, and then rinsing it in some water and then just letting them dry you don't want to be using jars that are you know still wet so i like to dry them in like a drying rack with the paper towel placed underneath let that sit for a few hours and then we'll fill them 
So I think I'm going to go ahead and throw on some music for you guys so you can watch this process and then I'll be back. In this section of the video, I am making my biotin hair growth supplements. If you don't know, biotin actually helps improve your skin's hydration, smoothness, and overall appearance. Um, I also like to think that biotin can help strengthen your fingernails as well as your hair and make them grow faster. It's just an overall good supplement to take if you're working on, you know, beautifying and making sure that you have something to add nicely to your beauty routines. Um, I like to use biotin specifically for my hair and my fingernails. That's where I noticed the most improvements. But yeah, so I actually have these gelatin capsules that I got from Herb Affair and a capsulate machine where you can pretty much make any supplement that you have or would like to make. And I'm just going to go ahead and fill all of the capsules into the capsulate machine and add my biotin into each capsule and then fill them. Um, unfortunately, I did not finish the entire process on camera my camera kept dying so you guys will have to see that in a separate video but be on the lookout for my biotin hair skin and nail supplements those will be available as well with the hair growth oil and butter so yeah this is pretty interesting i really enjoy doing this i feel like this is a really nice way to take any supplement or herb or um protein and add it into a supplement and take that daily as a part of your routine something that i like to do is make sure that anything I'm putting in my body is safe for my hair. Um, that's just an overall rule. Like if it can go in your body, it can also be used externally for most things. Okay. Don't quote me, but for most things, if it can go in, it can also be used out. So yeah, I'm just trying to, you know, get the girls together with our health, but yeah, let's go ahead and get some music back going. And I'll be right back. I can give you what you need. I can give you what you need.
Well, that's it for tonight. Baby 
baby, do you want me like I want you? Even if you do, you wouldn't say I know you. Some nights I even think about if I should call you. Last part of this video, you guys are going to watch me label my hair growth oils and butters. Like I said, I did not actually get to finish making my biotin hair supplements yet on camera. I did make a couple and then I just didn't finish and add this part to the video. So I'll do another video of me making those if you guys are interested. Actually, go ahead and comment that if you would like to know how to make your own supplements or if you just want to see that process on camera. But this part of the video is absolutely my favorite. I really enjoy labeling. <clears throat> All of my labels are 100% handmade myself using Canva. I print my labels using online labels and anything that I'm using, like I said, will be linked down below. But this part of the video is just kind of relaxing. So I think I'll go ahead and wrap it up here. I hope that you guys enjoyed me doing my hair growth products and the process of making them. And I'll keep you guys updated for when my website will be available to shop. And once again, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications so you guys don't miss any updates or any new gems from me. But as always, love you guys so much. Peace. So tell me how. How could you tell me that you love me by mistake? Intoxicated by your text and you ashamed. That's so wild. So how can I believe or trust in anything that you say? When you so easily regret it next day. See, that ain't right. Cause I was dying for this love, this love Yeah, I was dying for your love, your love So tell me, baby, do you want me like I want you? Even if you do, you wouldn't say I know you Some nights I even think about if I should call you Cause I thought you were the one Cause I was dying for this love, this love Tell you one thing for sure 